morning and welcome to Flint Pond. My name is Chaz Doughty. I am the president of the Flint Pond Association and the chairman of the Flint Pond Study Committee. What you're looking at out here is um, several members of the community who are currently doing a weed pull for a very, very evasive weed, the water chestnut. And we are planning to do a volunteer pull of this evasive weed on August 6th. And we, uh, we're getting rid of the rainy weather today so that it will be beautiful on August 6th and we want to invite you all down to come have some fun with us. My name is Mara Amrick. I've lived on Flint Pond for 24 years and we are out here dealing with water chestnuts. Under the right conditions, one acre can be 100 acres the next year. The plants form from a single seed. One of these will produce a plant that will then send shoots out of 10 to 20 more plants, and each one of those plants will have 10 to 20 more pods on them. The best way to remove them is to hand pick them because it is environmentally safe. It also reduces the overall amount of biomass that will then rot away and decompose into the pond, which adds to the silt and adds to the nutrients and makes it even more interesting for these things to live in it. So this is a water chestnut. It's like spaghetti coming up. Very easy to pull. The hardest part is balancing it on the boat once you get it out. I'm David. I'm a student of environmental engineering with uh, UMass Lowell. I decided to get involved with this project because uh, I'm pursuing a career in environmental engineering. One of the things that is, uh, is so difficult about these water chestnuts to treat is that no matter how you remove the actual plants, there's no way to destroy the seed pods which can lay dormant on the floor of the pond for up to 10 and by some estimates 20 years. If the water chestnuts do overgrow this entire pond, They'll only become harder to remove, but they can also choke out the local biodiversity in terms of local water plants and migratory birds and fish. It has been an extremely destructive to a lot of ecosystems here in the Northeast. An annual uh, water chestnut harvesting is extremely important for the long-term sustainability of the pond. Hi, I'm one of the neighbors on the lake, and I'd like to invite you all to come out on August 6th from 1 to, uh, I'm sorry, from 9 to 1 o'clock. Uh, we ask you to bring uh, your kayak or canoe, a life jacket, maybe some trash bags, a rowboat. Uh, come out and help us collect water chestnuts. Uh, they're an invasive species, as you've heard. Uh, we'd like more hands the merrier. We're going to provide some sandwiches and snacks. We'll provide water and sanitary facilities. Uh, we just like you all to come and have fun as neighbors, make the, make the, the, uh, the lake a better lake. And by doing that, it's a better town. So, more? Come out, have fun, and save a pond. Yeah! yeah. <laughs>